this video I'm going to show you how to find the timing marks on the uh, on the crank side of things. The cam side is pretty easy, but uh, the crank side, I was uh, I had the car on the hoist and just looking at the side of the pulley like like this, and I couldn't not see the mark. But if you look up top, you can actually see the mark. It's right there. It's a it's a big groove that's cut into the pulley, and uh, so yeah. Um, after I'd found the mark, I went ahead and looked for the other mark on the uh, the plate behind it. And the plate would be, let's uh, turn this around here. Yeah, so that's straight up, just like that. And that's where the mark is, that indent there that you had just seen right there. Um, so anyways, what you'll do is, is uh, before you do anything, uh, line those two marks up. But don't mark it like that first. Make sure you spin it over and make sure your cam mark, there is your cam mark. Make sure it's lined up because your crank will turn twice for to match that mark before the cam will, uh, the crank will turn twice, the cam will turn once kind of deal. Uh, so you could be on the bottom and not be centered. Anyways, once you get that, mark your pulley like that, and then you can go ahead and pull the rest off and get your belt off there. But uh, yeah, there's, there's one more spot here. There's a little window in your bell housing. Uh, and if you get that about, uh, see that little ridge there? If you get that ridge about uh, two millimeters from the top, you'll be good. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching.